All right, here we are at Robidoux Springs and Campground. We're gonna get a little bit more insight into it. It's right by Robidoux Creek. Robidoux Creek Springs is on the other side, and I shot a short of the campground, but this is a short of the a regular video of the campground with the van life with the full hookups that we have. So this guy right here is driving out. Maybe he's the the, the camp people. There's the conservation, Robidoux Creek Conservation Area, Missouri Conservation Department. Here's the farmer's market right here. Oh, they got Virginia plates. There's the gardener's demonstration. They got Virginia plates. Speed limit, 10 miles an hour. So what I'm gonna do is go through here, but then I'm gonna back up into a hookup. So this is a little bit longer video than the video that I shot before. There's the restroom, so I'm gonna take a look at the restrooms also. Now the spring in the creek is right on that side. The other side, you can walk back up. See where these campers are? You could walk and the creek and the spring are literally right on the other side of that tree line right there. So what I was gonna do is back up into, cause I seen it was vacant last time. I was gonna back up into one of these areas right here and check out the hookups. Cause there's the water and the hookups on these right here. They're not concrete. They are, uh, there's more people here today that were there yesterday. See, there's number six right here. Now you do got to get these campsites on line or you got to be here Monday through Friday to get these campsites. See, reserved Anderson April 7th through the 13th. So they drive through here, reserved May 5th. You know, so they do reserve the campsites. Uh, you're right out, I mean, you're literally three minutes from the courthouse. So what's pretty cool is that it ends down here. But like I said, the creek is right on the other side there's the creek right on the other side that you do have access to when you stay here so there's a conservation area so this is Robodoo springs and Robodoo creek so i was in a park back up right into where the uh restrooms were so we could take a look at the restrooms some people here look like they're more longer term i think this is 20 dollars a night to stay here See, like they got a trailer and uh, uh you know this is right off of i-44 you're on i-44 if you're tired or you you need to stop or whatever okay i'm gonna pull in uh 14 i can't i gotta pull in the one because one is the one that has nothing connected to it right now so i gotta go around and pull into one and then we'll hook up at one to see the hook goes i could drive right here because i do want to take a look at the bathroom hold on be right with you all right, so there's my van life setup. We do have the curtains in the van. See, the curtains all around. We got the curtain to come across the top, so you can't see in the van at all. There's the beds right there, the cooler, the chairs. But see, this is a 100-foot extension cord with four outlet. All right, so it's a 100-foot extension cord that comes out the van. Now I have all these adapters. So these are 30-amp 30, 30 adapters but then they go into a 15 amp adapter where I could plug my extension cord in my 100 foot extension cord. So when you take your adapters, I believe these are both just 30 amp adapters. Here's the hookups, all right? They got the electrical hookups. They have the water hookups. They have your sewer hookups right here. Now this is pretty cool because a lot of them do not have 15 amp breakers. That's a 15 amp breaker right there that you could just plug in your 15 amp breaker. But if you didn't have a 15 amp breaker, you plug this right here and then it turns it, see it's on, the light went on. So now you could plug in your 15 amp breaker, but these have 15 amp breakers here, 30 amp, 20 amp, and this is a 50 amp breaker right here. But now with this right here, I could plug my van in with my extension cord and this is full powered in here with that right here and that right there now we don't have a septic but if you want to plug your water in you plug your water in right here you have your air filter and you got your septic right there for twenty dollars this is Robodoux springs campground in um, missouri off i-44 so if you're traveling i-44 and you need to pull over uh, this is an awesome place to pull over so we're safe, we're secure, 
we have electricity for it now you know me i got my pee bags or whatever but if you don't have the there's the restroom right there so we're gonna go take a look at the restroom all right so they're they're trailer restrooms and i think they're showers also so there's the van right there opened up and then th this one says vacant right here so you could open this up right here this is vacant and there is the restroom and the shower so my wife probably wouldn't use these but there's a shower right there and it is hot in here oh my god it is so hot in there shower area restroom with the water hookup so it is it is boiling hot in here okay this one says vacant also there's the fan the uh the toilet the restroom so you can shower in here or use the restroom in here uh let's see what we got here this is the bathroom right here this would be the handicap one so there is the toilet the sink and there's the shower for you need to sit down and take a shower for for me and my wife i, I mean i don't want you to call us bougie but uh we would probably stop off and use the restroom somewhere else i know my wife would not use these restrooms right here they are hot in there here's the bacon in the sun but it is a shower area and for twenty dollars if you're on the road and you need to crack there's the van right there with full hookups your pillows your blankets and if you have to use the restrooms if you have to use the restrooms there's a restroom area but we would a shower right there we carry a lot of the wipes with us or whatever baby wipes and all that so a little bit about van life if you need to pull over if you need to plug in uh there's a we're at Robodoo Springs, Robodoo Creek Campground in Waynesville, Missouri. $20 a night and you got the complete hookups. Now if you're pulling the camper or pulling the trailer, it's on a pop and it's easier because you got your own water, you got your own air conditioning, you got your own uh, toilet and all that. That's like we're going for next time, a camper like that. A whole week, it's a hundred bucks for you to park here, drop it, and then go travel and visit the area. But uh, I have this right here with this right here so our whole van is powered we do stop and buy ice for that i should have brought my ozark trail that holds us longer so my workout equipment right here i tell you my pee bags i have these are my pee bags these little bags they unfold and there's an absorbent in there you can actually pee in the bag there's no liquid in there it turns to solid then you ziplock it and throw it away all right Either way, that's a little bit on the Robodoo Springs campground and that's a little bit on van life. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.